Well, uh, good morning, everybody. It's the uh, it's the eighth of uh, June, twenty twenty. Um, uh, I wanted to try and discuss something that I've spoken about very briefly on a, a video I just put up, commenting on uh, the upcoming uh, Queensland Rail long distance uh, train timetable. Now, what's happened? is I rang them uh, a few days ago basically and were told we're operating month by month and we're uh, I want you to ring back on the 30th of June uh, for the booking I've already got which surprised them by the way they were amazed that I already had this booking 10th of October Brisbane to Longreach and by train and by bus up to Winton Anyway, I said I've got a group of 3,000 members on Facebook and they want to know when the trains to Western Queensland are going to start operating. They wouldn't give me the information, didn't know it, they said. I said, yes, but the whole state's opened up and you got the Premier uh, saying, jump in your car. And of course they laughed at that, you know, to go to Longreach. Well, why can't you go by train? So... Uh, uh, situation here, I believe, is um, they have never announced anything about this, but I think that train will resume, and I think it might do it next month, because the timetable begins on the 10th of uh, July. Then uh, I'm only guessing, and I'm not trying to be funny or some kind of pretend to be some kind of prophet or something or other, but I get a horrible feeling, let's say that they're going to replace their trains with buses uh, between uh, Townsville and Mount Isa and between Brisbane and Charleville. And they will trumpet uh, that you can travel f on your concession, like your uh, pension, use your pension passes up on it, uh, your uh, seniors card and you'll get uh, um, half fare and all that sort of thing. In my case, I, as I say, as a pensioner, I just want to go to Longreach. I, you know, put get two passes equals first class. And if you want to go economy, you one pass. Anyway, they trumpet and say, "Well, look, it's seven days a week now up to Cairns." I'm saying at a minimum of six days a week. They can probably do it seven days a week with the sets. And oh, look, we've got the town, Townsville to Mount Isa has been changed so that it meets the train. Uh, nine something in the morning, let's say 9.30 till, uh, it'd be 12 hours exactly till 9.30 p.m. into Mount Isa. Uh, downside of the whole thing is you'd have to leave Mount Isa at three in the morning and get into Townsville at three in the afternoon. Now, the upside in a sense of this is a lot of people will accept that. They say that's a great advance. And oh, well, you can travel from Mount Isa uh, through the Long Reach and right out to uh, Charleville into Brisbane. Now, a lot of people would accept that. Uh, seven days a week, and they probably have a mini bus up there at uh, Charleville doing a couple of days a week to uh, uh, Quilpy and a couple of days a week to uh, Connemulla, and, and then they could trumpet that as being a great advance. Uh, I, but I'm just putting that out there. I'm not promoting it in any way. I'm, I'm, I wish that tr the trains could have been maintained properly. They could have had sleeping uh, accommodation on those trains to uh, Charleville and uh, Mount Isa, but they don't. People are forced to sit up all night or lay on the floor, which is abysmal, by the way. But they'll probably be able to say, well, we've got a daylight bus across from Brisbane to Charleville. What are you worrying about? Or if you want to go overnight and you want to continue on to, to Mount Isa or whatever, you can do that. So don't be at all surprised that the Queensland Rail will offer up that kind of spin or the government will offer it all up in July. Now, if I'm wrong about that and they haven't got the guts to change things, they just bring the trains back as they are, well, too bad. Uh, I wouldn't travel overnight on those trains without a sleeper. In other words, the only one I'd travel on is the Spirit Queensland, which is uh, excellent, first class. 
uh, accommodation there, uh, dining lounge and sleeping cars are uh, recommended any time. But the other two trains, the Inlander and the Westlander, I'd only do the daylight portions, and I have done the daylight portions, which is uh, town, uh, Townsville out to Charters Towers on the Inlander, and of course Toowoomba to Brisbane on the Westlander. Anyway, I'm putting this out there for anyone that might be interested in commenting. Uh, in other words, uh, all uh, civil and polite comments are, are welcome. And whilst I'm at it, uh, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, the, all the extra members are getting in all the time on this uh, group, the uh, $2.50 uh, Seniors Card Travel Group. Uh, it's doing very well and a lot of members are um, basically exchanging information, providing travel hints and so on, and provided everybody remains on topic and talks about travel, tours, accommodation, <coughs> excuse me, and related matters, that's fine. If anyone goes off topic and starts talking about all kinds of other things or advertising for other things, well, they get uh, blocked straight away. But so um, anyone that has anything to, to discuss on this, I'd be very happy to hear from them. Uh, so thank you for viewing.